Hello everyone. Today's topic is relation between alpha, beta, gamma. In the previous class, we discussed about the comparison between CB, CE, CC configurations. Today we will relate the alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, in this, first we will see that uh, what are the definitions we are having for the current gain. In the common base configuration, the current gain is indicated by the current gain is indicated by output current by input current. Okay, but in common emitter configuration, also same formula current gain is output current by input current, and in carbon collector configuration, also the current gain is output current by input current. Here, the com in <coughs> common base configuration, the current gain is indicated by alpha. Okay. Now, in common emitter configuration, the current gain is indicated by beta. In common collector configuration, the current gain is indicated by gamma. In the common base configuration, the output current is IC. And the <coughs> input current is in common emitter configuration, the gain is indicated by beta and the output current is IB, sorry, IC and the input current is IB. In common collector configuration, the current gain is indicated by gamma and the output current is indicated by IE and the input current is indicated by IB. Okay, these are the current gains of CB, CE, CC configurations. Okay, whenever we see IE by IC by IE, we can write directly alpha. If it is IC by IB, beta and ie by ib that is alpha uh, gamma so these are the current gain formulas now by using this we can relate alpha beta gamma now let's see we know that in the transistor the emitter current is equal to the sum of the base current and the collector current so we can write mathematically the formula emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current okay this is equation number one we know this equation already so, now the relation between alpha and beta we will see now. The relation between alpha and beta uh, to get this, we have to divide the equation number 1 by IC. If we divide equation number 1 by IC, we will get IE. <coughs> is equal to IB plus IC. This is the equation number 1. This equation number 1, we will divide with IC. Why we are dividing to get the relation between alpha and beta? IE by IC, IB by IC, and IC by IC. So, this IE, <coughs> sorry, this IE by IC is as it is. And this IB by IC also as it is. Plus IC, IC both will get cancelled. We will get 1. But we know that equation. We know that. IE, IC by IE is equal to alpha, but here it is reverse, IE by IC. So, we have to write 1 by alpha it is. Is equal to, we know that IC by IB is equal to beta, but it is reverse, IB by IC. That's why 1 by beta plus 1. Yeah, if we write in terms of alpha, the above equation, alpha is equal to beta divided by 1 plus beta. Okay, this is a relationship of 
alpha and beta in terms of alpha. Now, the same equation, if we write in terms of beta, we will get beta is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha. This is the relationship between alpha and beta in, in terms of beta and in terms of alpha. Okay, now let's see uh, next one. That is relation between beta and alpha. The same equation I is equal to IB plus IC we use for this. Okay, uh, this is the relationship between beta and gamma. Now for this also we have to divide divide equation number 1 by IB. If we divide equation number 1 by IB, we will see what we will get. Equation number 1 is IE is equal to IB plus IC. Here, if we divide equation with IB, we will get IE by IB, IB by IB, IC by IB. Here we know that IE by IB that is indicated by gamma. Gamma is equal to IB by IB1 and IC by IB that is indicated by beta. Okay, here IC by IB is nothing but beta. This is a formula of gamma in terms of beta. If we write in terms of beta is equal to, we will get gamma minus 1. Okay, this is the relation between <coughs> beta and gamma. Okay, now we will see relation between alpha and gamma. For this, we have to divide the equation number 1 by i. Now, we will see what will happen if we divide with i. i is equal to ib plus ic. This is the equation number 1. This equation number 1, we have to divide with i. i divided by i and divided by i. Okay, here i, i, i get cancelled. 1 is equal to we know that i, e by i, b is equal to gamma but it is reverse. i, b by i, e. That's why it is 1 by gamma plus i, c by i, e. We know the formula that is alpha. Okay, alpha is equal to, from this we can write alpha is equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma. That is, finally, alpha is equal to gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. This is a relationship of alpha in terms of gamma. Now, if we write gamma from this only, gamma in terms of alpha that is 1 by 1 minus alpha okay this is the this is about the relationship between alpha and beta and gamma and beta and alpha and gamma okay in the next class we will discuss about the <coughs> transistor as a amplifier okay thank you everyone